We are back. Hello, it has been a long time since I've been on uh, YouTube doing a video, but you'll notice today, I've had this for a couple of weeks, you'll notice today that I'm going to be doing an up-close sort of review on a, 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 quite an extremely rare piece of equipment, a uniform piece used in the 2007 movie Transformers. And this comes with the official uh, certificate of authenticity with the uh, embossed stamp on the paperwork around the uniform with the signature got this for a steel price on eBay yeah, you might notice there's one on eBay right now that's already uh, for an insane price and obviously it's not been sold yet but a this one was about 440 British pounds. The knee pads are uh, generation two. Now we'll see if we can zoom in and focus. So these are experimental gen one combat pants and uh, combat shirt. The knee pads and L o pads are gen two. And you'll notice that the, uh, the patches were um, custom made in the prop department and they were sewn, sewn over the pockets so rendering the pockets useless and they obviously took off the velcro but quite interesting patches and design for the movie somewhat of a secret government organization the pants and shirt are in very good condition uh, showing no signs of heavy use. The pants feel quite brand new in, in some regard. Uh, all features of the uh, the zipper on both sides and the, the waste management flap, as you'd call it. For example, Like the multi-cam versions, being able to split open both ways. Opening such as like that. And quite a wide amount of space for the pockets. You can fit all kinds of items in there. I'll take the camera off the stand and I'll get to show you the prototype experimental label in quite good condition like I said previously big pocket for these older uniforms. Now because this one is um, experimental these were not the same as the multi-cam versions they were twill. This is ripstop. So a tad lighter I would I would say than the multi-cam version and the black torso material looks quite nice. A very stretchy material the same as the multi-cam stretchy uh, torso but in black and not green and obviously the tags quite faded on this the tags faded and there is some fading up and around here and around the collar around the edges I think it's because of storage dust I've given them one light wash with some soap not too much to uh, damage anything like the patches I didn't know if there was if it could have been a chemical reaction or something like that but um, all seems all right zippers in there but yes uh, 
there appears to be a different type of black um, to the Kadura black, the ripstop to the Kadura. But quite an interesting piece of kit, quite rare. So I just thought I'd show you that. And there's a fair bit of uh, content popping up on my Instagram. I use that quite a bit, so I'll put that in the link just down below so you can go and follow me on there. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.